big empty warehouse. I don't know what's going on. You can hear me. You can see me. Woohoo! Okay. I like it. Signs of life. Did you hear me play that last song? Yes? Did you hear me play a song? I know there's a delay, so it's kind of weird. No! All right. We're starting over, people. Woo! Good to see you all. Sorry about that technical difficulty. Here we go. 3 a.m., two hours, one question in my head. I'm overthinking, I'm overthinking. Did I hear you right when you said that thing you said? I'm overthinking what you're thinking. It was Wednesday night, we were out to see the band. And we were drinking, yeah, we were drinking when I heard those words, now I might misunderstand. I'm overthinking what you're thinking. Ooh, I wish I could dream, slip into sleep where nothing could find me. But ooh, these memories seem to come from the It's the last official October show. Yay! Hi, Peter. Hi, Stantones. Everybody. Oh, Michael Pops McGee. Cool. Jack, love that one. Aw, Jack's such a cutie. I had a dream I had a baby last night. <laughs> uh, I shouldn't talk about it. Actually, it's funny. I have a couple of friends who have a blended family, and they just had a child. Um, and so I had a dream, this, maybe some of you will find this amusing, I had a dream last night that I had like, um, like a turkey baster style conception with one of my friends, Bill DeMaine, who, who was on the, the Stage It show the third week or whatever. And it was a girl, and I remember being really excited, and she was big and fat and really yummy. And, but she lived with Bill in Nashville, and so I was really sad about it. And I, I kind of missed her. But it was like Bill and I were just friends, but we just decided to have a baby. So this must be something to do with all the songs we write together. I don't know. Um, Bill, Domain, and I are not having a child. I just want to put that out there. But it was a really pleasant dream. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a weird story to tell. Anyway, turkey based story. Right? People do it. People do it, and they have success. So, um, welcome to the show. Um, on that note, um, actually, there's nothing that relates to that, so I'm just going to play a song. <laughs> Yes. 
sod on his face. He would be my king of hearts. I would be his ace. We had all the luck to people need, but he didn't dare to take. Take a chance on me. game one of these days I'll record that I want to do that the this other new one off the Kim Fowley sessions that I've been writing with Taylor I read I made a royal mess of it last week so I'm gonna hope to make a better go of it this time it's called don't be a stranger Yeah. 
in life people if you're gonna get anywhere you gotta take some risks um cool so I'm gonna actually I'd like to invite a friend of mine to come into the old video screen now check this out so this is Wayne Miller and I've known Wayne since he was like 17 or something <laughs> Wayne played on my very very first record which um, probably a lot of you don't have, called Brave Heartache. It was like, it's very country. It was my first attempt at doing anything. So Wayne is a beautiful musician. He plays upright bass, and tonight he's going to play some percussion and snare. Um, anyways, it's, it's cool. It's really cool to, like, we're still friends. Isn't that great? I'm not going to tell you how many years it's been, because then it, you're going to know our ages. No, I'm not afraid of ages. No, it's been like 10 years or more. 15 years. 10-11. 10, 10, it's pretty yeah. great. Yeah. Here's the old friends. Right, Wayne? Absolutely. Yeah. Anyway, so actually we're down here in downtown LA, like I said, and um, we're at a, a recording studio that's run by the LA Songwriters Collective, which is uh, a great group. Do you want to say anything about it? Yeah. Hey, everybody. Yeah, uh, yeah LA Songwriters Collective. You can find us at lasongwriterscollective.com. And we're just a community for songwriters, um, hosted and run by songwriters. And yeah, we're just a community to support songwriters in LA. Yeah. So we have the space down here, and yeah. Kelly's performed for us at some of our events. And it's true. Yeah. Great, great, great people, great talented people. I've met wonderful musicians just by hanging out with these guys. And behind us, you can't tell, but there's like a whole recording studio. And so it's really, it's cool. It's a little slice of New York for me in LA actually. So, anyway, all right. Well, you're going to you're going to like what Wayne br brings to the table. Brings to the table. Shh. Brings to stage it. Is what he's bringing. Um I'm just going to do a quick tune. Um Oh, hey, Ginger and Mick, if you're listening, I sent you your discs. Ginger and Mick won the old trivia last week I had a, I have a Harry Nielsen reference in one of my songs and they guessed right so I don't really want to say it again though because it's kind of cheesy to talk about that stuff I think but anyway um, that's good enough uh, let's see who wins. Oh, okay. great okay. sure Yeah. 
Ah, cool. Um, okay, so another, oh, I want to, let's go to um, that first one I showed you. Okay. Mix it up a little. Cool. Um, How Whoops. Major minor sometimes messes you up. You're so much younger, boy. I feel so old. Why would you want my heart? I know some pretty young things who need a start. I don't believe a word you say. But if you love me, you can love me in my funny old way. place now officially as you know and um, I've seen some of you have bought it that's really cool thank you for doing that supporting the arts it's also on Spotify which now you know I have a little bit of mixed feelings about but well I've always had mixed feelings about but I'm having more and more mixed feelings about but that's a conversation for another time maybe when we're all sitting around a table together wouldn't that be nice um, anyway um, but yeah and I've, I've made this or Gosh, you know what, I've got some orders in for this book that's like my lyric commemorative book. It's, um, uh, I, I'm just wrapping up the text, so if you ordered it already, I'm sorry, it's coming. I just need to finish this text, but um, it's kind of cool. I like to take Holga photographs, and um, so it's a 20-page it's a little booklet of my Holga photographs and then the lyrics that are not in the CD. If you have the CD, you know it's just a sleeve. So um, this is sort of the accompanying lyric book and with photos that I've taken. I'm no photographer, but I think Holga shots are cool. It's shot with real film and multiple exposure, so they're quite dreamy. I really like it. Um, anyway, so if you ordered that, it's coming your way. I was working on that today. Um, okay, so let's go back to some up tempo. Oh, and Peter Lee, thank you for writing that review. Um, I, th I thought it was really beautifully done. I'm going to comment on it or something because I didn't really get the chance to earlier, but it's always nice when people write about your music and they, they do it in a way that resonates with you, so thank you for that. All right. Um, okay, cool. Um, this one is just a repeat because, again, I want to try to do it better than last week. <laughs> so, um, here, I'll see. 
Here goes nothing. You can't help but sort of careen in that song, I think. But anyway, that was good. Wayne just like heard these songs once. The tag gets every time. And the tag, yeah. <laughs> anyway, that was from a movie called That's What She Said. So you can find that on Netflix, etc. Yay! Almost nailed it, Jasper. Almost. <laughs> Almost. Um, da -da -da -da. All right. So, um, oh, okay. This one is also... This is going out to Todd Stanton. Oops, I'm going to get rid of that. It's going out to Todd Stanton. Todd, I'm going to do my best for you. This is that one. Um, <laughs> you kind of, Wayne, Wayne kind of heard this one. Um, Thank you. 
together. Oh. Going downtown and my heart is pounding. I'm loving you, loving you, baby. The very last kiss sticking to my lips. I'm loving you, loving you, baby. Loving you, baby. Loving you, baby. Loving you, baby. Love, love is a dream. Wayne-ster. Nanam says he's a wee pup. He's really grown up well. <laughs> uh, you're welcome, Todd. Thank you. Todd has been sound checking me every week, and you're such a doll for doing that. Thank you so much. Um, all right. Well, I'll let I'll let Wayne go. Uh, bask in, you know, studio sun over there. Our friend Kevin is here too. Um, anyway. So, what are you guys going to do next Tuesday night, now that this is all ending? Does it kind of um, make you as sad as it's making me? No drum solo. Oh, well, you know, he could, he could always bring us out on a drum solo. <laughs> Bye, Wayne. Nice job. You got a lot of nice jobs there. Yeah, Wayne Miller. Check him out. Find him on Facebook. Great. Um, <clears throat> cool. All right. Well, I'm going to... You know, I'm doing this interview. Some of you might know Brandon Schott. He's doing, a, he has a show called Defy Gravity. Um, Don Fuchsius, yes, it's available on CD on my website in the store. So if you're curious at all, you can always go there. I don't play any of those songs anymore, but it's probably a, a nice historical piece, if nothing else. Although I have some friends slash, you know, fans who swear by that record. They really miss it. Ray Pardick, remember that, Wayne? Oh, I love it. <laughs> it's funny. Like, I think if you were around during that time, you love it. But, I don't know, sh you know, see for yourself. So, Brandon, uh, Brandon is going to, we were going to do it last week, but it didn't work out. So, we're doing it, um, we're doing it tomorrow. So, that's going to be great. And um, I'm also talking with a guy named Alan Haber. I'm sorry if I'm getting that wrong, but we're going to do a talk tomorrow morning for a, a radio program, and I'm really sorry I don't know the name of that, but it'll be posted on Facebook and all that when it's done, I'm sure. So, Alan Haber, yeah, Alan Haber, cool, that can, maybe you could uh, fill everybody in on what that show is, but yeah, keep keep on the lookout, uh, Defy Gravity, Brandon Schott, and, um, and Alan Haber's radio program. <laughs> Oh, it's all 
don't take much All I need is just one touch I've been wandering the wilderness Covered in cosmic dust No, I can't keep going on like this Lord, it don't take much All I need is just one touch I thought a lot about the answer In a taxi to the hills Maybe he's alive in New York City Waiting for me by windowsill But all that thinking got me tired so I laid my head down to pray. Lord, help me when you can. I'm sure you'll understand. Let's figure out a plan. Take me to your right hand, man. Take me to your right hand, man. Um. <laughs> Those guys are as quiet as mice back there. Thanks, guys. I feel like I'm kind of far away from the old video. I hope this isn't too loud now. Hmm. <laughs>
the Holy Ghost And we met in my dream Rolling a river in the flow On a mountain in the sun Catching waves of evergreen I played that one a whole step too high that time. So I started it and I was like, well, do I stop or do I press on through those high notes? So I press on. That's better a whole step down, like I recorded it. Thanks. Um, oh, cool. Yeah, that's Love Dynamo. Um, I, um, so I'm sorry if I'm repeating myself to some of you, but I was really inspired um, to write a lot of this music after I heard Judy Sill. She's such a beautiful musician who led a life of extremes when she was alive and unfortunately um, passed away too young, I think. I'm not exactly sure how she died, but I believe it was drug related and um, just a product of hard living. She was from the 70s. She passed, I believe, in the 70s. Her music is from the 70s, I mean. Anyway, um, yeah, she spoke about spiritual themes in a really exotic way um, with such beautiful musicianship. And um, when I first heard it, I was really struck by it. Also, um, some of you may or may not know Brian Blade. He's uh, considered one of the world's greatest drummers. I mean, he really is. He's, he's magnificent to watch. Um, he plays with a lot of people, but... He's been on tour, for instance, and recording with Wayne Shorter, who is one of the jazz greats of today. And um, Brian also has a group called Mama Rosa, uh, which I'm in as a singer. And um, Brian sings and plays guitar, and the music is, is very beautiful. It's um, more folk, I guess, than jazz. Um, some beautiful melodies, but you'd still hear that kind of jazz harmony in there, too. Anyway, so Brian's also, I think, as I have dug deeper into thinking about my inspirations, I think being on tour in the Mama Rosa Band has been a real inspiration, too. The themes being so, um, I, I, I don't know any other way to say it, but like higher themes. Um, very inspiring. Going, accessing like a whole other level of subject matter. So anyway, Alta Loma, as Peter Lee, you know, quoted me as saying in his, in his review today, it's like a Sunday morning record for me. So the pop stuff is, I love the pop stuff, and I'm always going to make the pop stuff, but um, there is this other side of the music that I, um, that I, I feel like I, I, I want to put this side of me in the music too. I guess that's what I like to say. So um, anyway, I really enjoyed doing all this with you guys, um, doing all these shows and having you there. And, you know, I'll probably do more in the future, but, um, I, I want you to know how much I appreciate all of your, you returners who have been here every week. And for those who, you know, only come, only came tonight, you know, thanks so much. And, uh, isn't this a crazy weird world we live in on the internet, making music on the internet live? Woo! Um, all right, well, I didn't really plan which song I'm going to end on, but, um, oh, Jasper Utah reminded me today... It's the one-year anniversary um, of Hurricane Sandy, which hit New York last year, today. So why don't we end with Old House? Thanks again, you guys. We got crowbars and big sledgehammers for taking down the doors, the ceilings and the floors, 
and shovels with strong wheelbarrows we're fixing up the old house we look ragged sawtooth jagged our clothes are out of style haven't worn them in a while no one's staring we don't care about what we're wearing just fixing up the old house so one by one we pull the nails out of the walls two by two we pull the trash outside from the rooms from the halls all for our sister and our brother gonna work real hard in the rain or under cover and if we're lucky we just might get to know each other Ooh while we're fixing up the old house Ooh while we're fixing up the house there's trouble we gotta get to on the double this floor is like a sea wave take a miracle just to save it we gotta give it all we can give it because we want to fix this old house so one by one we pull the boards up from the floor Two by two, we push the trash aside so we can see a little more. All for our sister and our brother. Gonna work real hard in the rain or undercover. And if we're lucky, we just might learn to love each other. Ooh. While we're fixing up the old house. Ooh -hoo, ooh -hoo. While we're fixing up the old house. Six seconds left.